Am I the arsehole? For neutering a cat that was clearly owned? I run a TNR program for feral cats. Non-profit, I catch all cats and get them the medical attention they need myself, out of my own pocket. I love helping them. A lot of the cats are not able to be rehomed, so I fix them and release them. Get them their shots and hope for the best. I am not a large-scale operation. Recently I was called to an area overrun with orange cats. They were everywhere and I mostly ended up handing it over to professionals. I did, however, manage to grab three very sweet cats. Two were terrified, skinny, a little beaten up, but overall friendly. The third one was a little gent. He was tubby, well-groomed, fish-patterned collar, the works. My plan was to find his parents and drop him off with a warning to keep him in due to the large amount of traps being set. Then the little bastard sprayed the inside of my car to the freaking max. So, apparently, he wasn't fixed. I couldn't really tell long hair and assumed he was so left my covers off. Big mistake. I debated taking him home or taking him to get neutered with the rest. He was an indoor-outdoor cat indicated by his collar tag and with so many strays I'm certain some were carrying his genetics. Ultimately I took him with me and got him neutered. No chip so I called the number on his tag and informed them where their cat was and gave them time slots to pick him up or have him dropped off. The owners went ballistic. They were cursing me out and came to collect their cat not 20 minutes later. Called me a kidnapper, blamed me for their child having nightmares scared over their cat going missing. I tried to explain that he needed to be fixed if he was going to be outside but they didn't want to know. They said I should have called immediately regardless. I spoke to my rescue friend who said I was in the wrong. Even though we know we are technically in the right, we didn't have the legal ground to do that and it wasn't my decision to make. I did apologize, but have blocked their numbers the mom is flaming me on Facebook and DMing people I know. I have a duty to care for stray cats. Me knowing an unneutered male was roaming free and not doing anything about it was a concern for said stray cats. Things are still tense between my rescue buddy and one and one don't completely disagree. I know I crossed a line even if it was for the greater good. People are finding out and taking sides, so I'm not sure who to really believe was right here. So, am I the arsehole? ESH. The owners for letting an intact pet outside unsupervised to breed, and you for having a surgical medical procedure done to an animal that you knew had owners without the owner's consent. Regardless of the morality of allowing pets to contribute to the stray population for which the owner is an R, making medical decisions for someone else's pet makes you a massive R. Everyone sucks. Edit spelling. Info you said. The third one was a little gent. He was tubby, well-groomed, fish-patterned collar, the works. My plan was to find his parents and drop him off with a warning to keep him in due to the large amount of traps being set. Then the little bastard sprayed the inside of my car to the freaking max. This really makes it sound like you changed your mind out of spite. Can you be absolutely sure you didn't? Info. How long was it between trapping the cat and taking it to the vet, since the owners had time to notice he was missing? Why did you not call the number on the tag before making an irreversible decision about someone else's pet? You're the asshole, you noticed as you say a little bastard looked like it had a home. You didn't call the owners but decided to neuter it because I think you are mad that it sprayed your car. Notar BC Op says this Tom is out making kittens, meaning he didn't escape one day by accident. His owners are letting him out, intact, and not taking care of the kittens he is fathering. They are contributing to the stray cat problem. Like you're not right but personally I think not the asshole. I agree with what you did. Pets shouldn't be outdoor animals and he was creating more cats and adding to the problem. They were irresponsible. You corrected an issue. Not the asshole. I would call you a justified asshole, personally, but that's not a rating. I'm tired of people creating endless suffering by letting their unneutered pets roam free. 
it's incredibly selfish behavior. Not the asshole, if the cat is on the prowl the owners should be responsible enough to neuter it. You've done the community a service and should be proud of yourself. Owners with outside cats are annoying AF and don't realize their cats piss all over other neighbors' stuff and fight other cats in the neighborhood at night. Not the asshole. They are irresponsible pet owners and are endangering the community by having an unneutered male cat about. It's unethical and should be illegal. Info What would you have done if their cat had died during this surgery? How did you know he didn't have health issues putting him at risk of dying under general anesthesia? The cat's owners suck. They let an intact male cat wander and continue populating an overrun cat population. Perhaps you do genetic testing on all the other orange tabbies and drop them off at their house too. After all, those cats are family as well. Not the asshole. Why even tell the owners Big Red got the snip snip? If they weren't planning to breed him they never would have noticed, what with his long hair and their general negligence. He'll live longer but it won't he stop him from spraying. You're the asshole. It's not your cat, it's not your decision. You cannot do a medical procedure on them without the owner's permission. I believe in sterilizing and always have my pets sterilized, but that is my decision. I would not blame them if they took legal action against you. Yep, you're the asshole. This cat was not a stray, and it was not yours. You're the asshole. You fixed the cat in revenge for him spraying your car. It's not your job to permanently alter another person's property because you hold a different belief to them yes, a cat is property in the eyes of the law. This is the equivalent of not liking your neighbor's house, and demolishing it and building something more to your own taste. A permanent, irreversible change, based on your preferences. Now, I'm all for cat neutering, so I understand why you did it, but seriously, you massively overstepped and will lose if this goes to court. You're the asshole. It wasn't feral and you knew it. You probably ruined their mouser. You're the asshole. Human overpopulation is also a problem. How would you feel if someone dragged you in a car against your will and had you neutered? Because that is basically what you did. You're the asshole. You don't get to decide what to do with other people's clearly tagged animals. You were pissed because he sprayed in your car so you cut his balls off. Be real. Don't pretend you did it for the greater good. You're a gigantic arrogant R. You shouldn't be working with cats if this is how you go about it. The owners have every right to name and shame you. If I ran a rescue and heard about this I'd make sure you were nowhere near the cats in my charge. You're the asshole. You did take their cat and have it muchly altered without the owner's consent and their right to put it on blast so other people know. You involved their cat in your personal program. TNR only makes it so that people's personal pets are the ones knocking up the feral population because Joe down the street can't keep Tibbles entertained so he adopts a cat and then ditches it outside to get hit by a car. You're the asshole. Not your cat to neuter. You were out of line. You're the asshole whether you like it or not, cats are property. You stole someone's cat who was clearly identified as having an owner, and made a decision about his health that was not yours to make. Last year I lost a foster cat who went in for a neuter and didn't wake up from anesthesia. Just last week I took in a cat for a surgery and had to sign a consent form about anesthesia because it is not a risk-free procedure. You're lucky nothing worse happened than the owners being justifiably angry with you. This was not your cat and not your decision to make. You're the asshole, I do think it depends on location but in general you don't mess with other people's pets. I'd say you probably need to get ready to lose some money in a lawsuit if there aren't explicit laws saying you're correct. Where I live you'd get shut down so fast for doing that to someone's pet. And if there's coyotes in the area you're in a rural area and the law usually sides with the animal owners in rural areas. You're the asshole such arrogance. You're the asshole. Neutering is not a risk-free procedure, I have had animals die under anesthetic. I would have been beside myself if you had done this to my pet. 
You're the asshole I love cats and fully support TNR but this was clearly a pet as you indicated when describing how well fed and healthy this kitty was in addition to the collar. You seem to have decided to neuter him out of spite for him marking in your vehicle. What you should have done was call the number on the tag, explain who you are and how you came to find their cat. Then offer to help if they want to get their cat neutered. Neutering him was not your call to make as he was not a feral cat. You're the asshole. It feels like you wanted to punish the cat for spraying. But have I got news for you even neutered cats can spray. You're the asshole and you know it. You're the asshole. This is none of your damn business. It's not your cat. You're the asshole. As far as I know you have no legal right to do what you did. You're the asshole you figured out the cat clearly had owners. But, uh, you put their cat through a medical procedure with a zero permission from the owners and be zero knowledge of their cat's medical history etc. It's not your place. You're the asshole and exactly what is wrong with the world today. You think you and your cause are right so forget everyone and everything else. It would be nice if you faced consequences. Maybe if you got sued and lost your home, or if your indoor cat or dog got out accidentally and someone stole it, you'd feel something other than righteous indignation. Wow imagine kidnapping and getting surgery done on someone else's pet without their knowledge or permission. Not even an attempt to talk to them first. Yes you're the asshole. You're the asshole. You don't have the right to make medical decisions about someone else's cat. Particularly without knowing the animal's history. Yeah you're the asshole that's not your cat you knew he had a home with parents, who are you to make that decision for them. Seems to me you're just trying to get some weird type of revenge due to you keeping your seat covers off.